And once you're on the add new service page, the first thing that you want to do is add in a title for your product or service. So I'll type in design right here. And then what you want to do is come down here and add a little description about your service or product. So what I'm going to do is go to the demo WordPress website and just highlight this text right here and copy it just to save some time. And then I'm going to paste that in right here. And if you want to modify this text, you can go and play around with these buttons right here. If you hover over any of these, you'll see little pop-ups with little descriptions of what they're all about. And if you don't see the second row, all you have to do is click on this button right here that says toolbar toggle and you'll see that second row pop up. Okay. So also one more thing, and I'll mention this a little bit later is right now we're on the visual tab. If you ever want to add HTML, you want to go to the text tab right here and add it. Okay. So for the most part, we're going to be adding all of our content on the visual tab. So once you're ready, come down to the bottom over here to where it says service info. And now what we want to do is add an icon for our service or product. So what you want to do is click on this link right here and it's going to open up a new tab to go to the font awesome website. And this is a cheat sheet with a bunch of different icons right here. So you can find any icon that you need for your service or product. So what I'm going to do is just highlight one of these. So I'll take the desktop one right here. And so once you find the icon that you want, you want to highlight the short code just like what I did right here. So it says FA dash desktop and you want to copy that and then go back to your WordPress website and paste in that short code right here. And that's going to insert an icon for this service. And if you want to add a link to the service so that your visitors can click on to go to another page with more details, you can add that URL right here. So we're going to leave this blank though. And the last thing that we want to do is come up to the category section over here and we want to add a category name for all of our services so that we can make them show up on our home page. So we're going to have the same category name for each of our services. So just come to where it says add new category and click on this and just type in something like type dash a. And once you do that, push enter and you should see the category get added to this section right here. And you want to make sure that it has the checkbox right here. Okay. So once you're ready, all we have to do to make this service is click the publish button right here. So go ahead and click on that. And once the service is created, you should see the notification right here. And if you ever want to edit this, you can do that and then just click on the edit button right here. And you can always delete this or change the status of this over here. So if you want, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, what I want to do is create another service with you just so that you know the right steps. So the first thing that we want to do is go to services and click on add new service or click on the button right here that says add new service. So click on this. And once you're on the add new service page, the first thing that you want to do is type in the name of the product or service right here. So I'll type in strategy and once you're ready, come down here and then add your little description about the product or service. So I'll just paste in some gibberish from the demo WordPress website just to save some time. And then once you're ready, scroll down to the bottom to the service info section. And we want to get the short code for the icon that we want to add for our service or product. So again, you can click on this link right here and it'll open up this tab to the font awesome website. And this is your cheat sheet. And what you want to do is just get the short code for the icon that you want. So the one that I want is this one right here called FA dash code pen. So I'll highlight the short code and copy that and go back to the WordPress website and just paste that in right here. And again, you can put in a URL if you want to link the service to another page right down here. And once you're ready, come up to the category section and you want to add a category name. So what we want to do for our services is use the same category name. So if you already created one service, you should have the category name right here. All you have to do is check the box and that's going to add the service to the same category. Or you can type it in right here, but you can see right here, we already have it in our list. So check the box. And once you're ready, all we have to do is click the publish button. So click on this once you're ready. And now we have just created our second service. So what I want you to do now is create the third service on your own. 
So all you're gonna do is click add new service and then create your third service. And once you're ready, what I want you to do is push the play button. And then what we're gonna do is add the services section into our homepage. So go ahead and pause the video. And once you're ready, push play. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so welcome back. And if you pause this video to create your third service, then now you should have three different services. And what I did was I went back into my services and I changed the times that I published these because there's one thing that I forgot to mention. So the services that you create, they're gonna show up from right to left. So the first one that you put in is gonna show up on your right. And then the last one that you create is gonna show up on your left. So what I wanted to do was make the design one show up on the left and then my last one, photography, show up on the right. So I went into each of these and I clicked the edit button and then I just changed the time that I published these. Okay, so if you wanna change the order, that's what you have to do. So now that we have all of our services, what we wanna do is create this section on our WordPress homepage. So let me show you how to make this. Let's go back to our WordPress website right here. And what we wanna do is go back to the home page. So hover over pages on the left-hand side over here and click on all pages. And what we wanna do right now is go to the home page and hover over that and click on the edit link right here. And once you're on the edit page, what I want you to do is come to these three different tabs on the right. So the visual tab is if you're writing regular content and you wanna style it, link it and add images, then you can use the visual tab. If you're going to write HTML, you wanna use the text tab. And if you wanna build out your pages with different rows, columns, and really customize the layouts of your WordPress website, then what you wanna do is use the page builder tab. So the page builder is a free plugin, and that's what we're gonna to use to learn how to make our WordPress website for free. So what I want you to do is click on the page builder tab and it should change the formatting for this section right here. And what we're gonna do is add different rows and columns to customize our WordPress pages. So by the end of this video, you're going to be very familiar with this page builder. So once you're on this section right here, the first thing that we wanna do is add a row for our services section right below the slider. So what you can do is click on add row right here or click on row right here. So click on this. And now you should see this pop-up that says new row. And right here you can see that we have two boxes. And what these are are the number of columns that we have to split our row or our section. So what you wanna do is modify the number of columns that you want for the section up here where it says set row layout. So you can see right here it says two right now. We wanna change this to one. And what that's gonna do is give us one big section for our services or product section. So right now, just change this to one, and we'll talk about this stuff in more detail as we make the different sections on our WordPress homepage. So once you change this to one right here, all I want you to do is come down here and click the insert button. And now you should see this row get inserted right here, and if you ever wanna edit this row, just hover over the wrench right here, and then click on edit row, and you'll see this pop up again, and you can modify whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna click done right here, and if you ever have more than one row, which we will in just a few minutes, and you wanna move around these rows, you can click on this little up and down arrow, and then you can drag this around to where you wanna place this row. But right now, we wanna keep the row right here, and since we already inserted this, now what we wanna do is place a widget for our services section. So what I want you to do is click on the Add Widget button right here, and you're gonna get this pop-up that says Add Widget, and there's a bunch of different widgets here, and these are little tools that we can use to customize our rows. And what we wanna do is come down to the bottom, and we wanna use this one called Sydney FP Services Type A. So once you find this widget, go ahead and click on it, and you'll see that it gets inserted right here. And once you hover over it, you should see some links right here. So what we wanna do is click on the edit link. So click on that, and once you get this pop-up, the first thing that we wanna do is type in our title for this section right here. So on the demo WordPress website, the title for this section says Our Services. So that's what we're gonna type in right here. So you can type in the same thing if you want. And once you're ready, come down to Number of Services to Show. 
We're going to leave this as negative one so that we show all of these services that we created. And we're not going to put in a button, so we're going to leave this blank. And all I want you to do is come down here and put in the category name for the services that we created. So we had one category name, so that was type A. So if you use the same category name, type that in right here. And once you're ready, we're just going to come down here and click done. We don't need to change any of the formatting over here. So click this button once you're ready. And now our services section should be done on our WordPress website. So what I want you to do to save all of your changes is click the update button right here. And once the home page is updated, you should see the notification right here. So let's go and check out what the page looks like right now. So click on view page. And once your WordPress website loads, this is what it should look like right now. So you should have your custom logo at the top your slider right here, and our call to action button right here. So if we click on this, it should bring us down to our next section that we just made right here. So again, this is our services section, and you should see the services that you made right here with our custom icons. So if this is what you see, then we are good to go. And now what we can do is make our next section on our WordPress homepage.